Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the new moon that's going to happen May 7th and it's going to be happening in the sign of Aries. So we're going to have the new moon conjoined. This is where the sun and the moon are conjoined together at 23 degrees of Aries. Now remember, I am doing Vedic sidereal astrology, not the tropical western, so you're going to find it is a different sign. But this, as I always remind everyone, is the true astronomical relationships that the planets are to the stars. These are true placements, okay? So, let me continue on and tell you what this means. But before I do, remember I want everyone to realize I give out a free newsletter. Why would you not want to have all my predictions delivered to your email address every week? Go to galacticcenter.org, get my free newsletter. Plus, you can join my Patreon page and be a member of a spiritual community. We meet every week. I have live classes. You will become connected to me as a close friend. Seriously, I give exclusive information there. And don't forget, I have a galactic planner about to launch where you're going to get all your predictions, personal predictions, put into your calendar and you can use that every day. Now, if you want to study with me, go to the university, universityofvedicastrology.com. Now, let's talk about this new moon, May 7th. It is phenomenally important. Why do I say that? That 23 degrees is exactly the degree Saturn is, 23 degrees of Aquarius, fully aspecting this new moon. And that means this is heavy. There are a lot of obstacles to overcome during this time. There's a lot of problems going on. It is heavy. And let me just say this new moon is not only occurring in Aries, but it's in the nakshatra called Barani, which means this is a major breakthrough. After so much constriction for so long, there is this process of things breaking out and breaking through. This nakshatra is actually symbolic of the birthing process because of a baby being so confined, the only way out is to go through the birthing process, which is extraordinarily painful for the baby and the mother. I know a lot of people say, oh, birth isn't painful. I got news for you. It was for me. So <laughs> I know it's supposed to be easy and whatever. But traditionally, I mean, to, to go through such a transformation can sometimes take a lot out of you. And that's what we're going through, a birthing process where everything breaks out and breaks through. And there's going to be something new come out of it. But it's after this birthing and this painful experience to get there. But we're going to get there. That I can assure you. And this new moon is close to Uranus, which means sudden unexpected events are occurring. Now, also at this time, by May 7th, we already have Jupiter in Taurus. So it is out of Aries now and it's in Taurus and it's bringing a new way of seeing the world in terms of the economy and politically. Things are radically going through a shift in change as this new moon occurs. But another valuable thing that's happening is still at this time, we do have Mercury still in Pisces. So it is debilitated. People are not seeing correctly. They're not seeing the truth. They're not seeing clearly. Now, in about three days after this, when Mercury does go into Aries, there will be new thoughts and Mercury is going to start picking up speed, going, moving away from that recent retrograde period where people were losing their minds and not seeing things clearly. It's still, we got a little residue of that. Mercury's not clear from the, the shadow phase yet. 
but it will be after in about three or four days. But we're still dealing with that. And Mercury being with Rahu are extremes around travels and extremes around thinking and processing information. But most of all, what we have coming up upon us this around the time of this new moon is Mars being there in Pisces approaching Rahu. So this has been a crazy, violent, turbulent time in the world. And this new moon means it's really a heavy, heavy time for everyone. We are not getting readjusted to this big shift and change and looking at the world in terms of, is there war, is there violence, where are we headed? This is heavy, but it means there's going to be a new birth, a new process taking place here. It's birthing out of all of this and all of this stuff that is heavy right now that's upon us, the anger, the violence, the war, all these wars breaking out. It really is just a progression of what has been brewing. We couldn't escape it. It's just what has been put into play. And yes, we have a lot more to go through before it's all said and done. But at least, you know, when I think of Saturn fully and exactly, Saturn's third full aspect in Vedic astrology is 100% in power. And it is 23 degrees along with the sun and the moon, 23 degrees. This means karma, repercuss repercussions, whatever things are put into play, we have to play out the karma of what's been brewing and what's happening. Now it's upon us. Now it's due. It's due. This new moon in Aries, at least Aries is the sign of new beginnings, fresh starts, and new births. So everything that's coming out of this time is a new beginning. And yes, it may seem heavy and difficult, but it has to happen this way in order to move on to the clearing of everything that's going to make the world improved and better. And for all of you out there, look at this new moon as a time of renewal, of fresh, what is it you're going to do in your life? Because it is in Aries. Aries is the sign of new beginnings. What is it you plan to do to change your life, to improve and make it better? Now's the time that you can do it. Now's the time that you can create the changes that you need. And to be strong, to be brave, to be courageous, to not be consumed with fear, even though everything out there is fearful that's going on. You will be protected. When you know you're coming from the light <clears throat> and goodness, you will be protected and you're fine. So it is time though <clears throat> to really think about what it is that you're responsible for, what you can do to change your life for this new beginning, this fresh start into a whole new month of new beginnings and creation. You are the creator of your life and you can choose. This new moon will give you that. So trust it, believe it, and know it. And this will be a time of creation, new beginnings, new starts, revelations for all of us. So with that, thank you for listening. And remember, if you'd like more information about me, so go to my website, galacticcenter.org. Thank you.